Normally, when you see or read about an exoskeleton, it's something that's designed to make you stronger, faster, or have more endurance. This exoskeleton doesn't do any of that. It's actually quite the opposite. It's designed to mimic the effects of aging on the wearer. And I'm here with Bran Farron, the creator of it, and he's gonna tell us how it works. Walk me through from top to bottom what this thing is doing, how it does it, and what the technology behind it. Instead of eyes, you have high definition television cameras. They send signals to a computer on the backpack. That computer processes any of the vision defects abnormalities, which then comes back up to a series of high definition monitors, which you look at. Same thing with hearing. There are sound canceling headphones, which have additional microphones added to them. So we listen to sound in the environment, run it through a digital signal processor, and then back again so we can emulate the effect of various types of hearing deficiencies and loss. The exoskeleton is designed to apply load to your joints. And you can see these are blue, showing there's no load. They will become redder as they're applying more load to simulate the effects of loss of muscle strength, of lack of motion in joints. We don't actually do pain. All we do is actually limit your range of motion and the amount of force required to move. And now for the fun part. I'm going to take it for a spin. All right, so we're going to put you in the suit. You'll just back into it, and then Jimmy and I will strap you in. And uh, let's do it. This isn't just some suit that you pull on like a pair of pajamas. It took two guys about 15 minutes to strap me in, hook me up, and adjust the suit to my carcass. Once I had it on, it was a bit cumbersome, but nowhere near the struggle it would soon put me through. Using a set of controls, the Genworth team was able to instantly affect my vision, stimulating cataracts, floaters, flashes, tunnel vision for macular degeneration, and even complete blindness. On my ears, tight headphones blocked out all natural sound, and I experienced deafness, ringing in my ears like tinnitus, aphasia, and even more. It was all extremely disorienting and often confusing. But the worst part was the mobility segment. While walking on the treadmill, Brand could adjust the load on my muscles and imitate muscle weakness and also other maladies like bad hips, knees, and arthritis. Getting around went from no problem to big problem. I'll definitely reconsider those long walks on the beach with my grandma in the future. At the end of the session, I was exhausted. And I'm not even 40 yet. The experience in the R70i was a real glimpse into what awaits most of us. And it's not pretty but it also gave me a lot of empathy for those already in their golden years, especially those that struggle with the myriad health problems I got to briefly endure, years before I'll actually have to deal with them. It was quite an experience.